Good morning. Uh, I've got a, a load in the roaster, so but it's like the first load, so you kind of can let it fly, I guess. Four coffees on the table. Uh, I, I want to throw this out, uh, this, this cupping video though. These are Rwanda Tumba, uh, so Brazil, Dona Marta, I think, uh, and a Churroso from Colombia. And then we've got the Stripe uh, Bourbon from Buenavuela and Nicaragua. These are four coffees that, three coffees that we have currently one. I, I forget why Wingo gave it to me. Um, we have three here that look nice. I want to see how they perform the sample roast. And then we'll put them in the bigger roaster and see how they perform then. And then uh, really some don't look for these anytime soon. They'll come out when they come out. Uh, March-ish, maybe, if that. So usual caveat, so I make these videos. I'm trying it, I can like it, it might suck out of the roaster. I'm trying it, I can hate it, but it might be great in the roaster. We're trying it, we love it. Turns out great in the roaster, we just don't have space to line up for it. Uh, yet, or anytime soon. So there's times, I think we got like, uh, we have eight or nine coffees that are in the 10 ounce lineup right now, and then probably about another eight or nine that are uh, kind of waiting in the wings in the process. And that's kind of normal for us. So it's a window into the mile. Um, Rwanda Tumba first, though. Uh, cooked apple, stewed apple, apple cider vinegar. Um, a real nice, like, unrefined sugar. Kind of, kind of a messy sugar, but interesting all the same. Not overtly sweet, but definitely sweet apple cidery vibe, which might not be everybody's speed. And that's some sample roast. Again, it might change in the bigger roaster. These can and do. That apple might change. There's a cacao for sure on this. Um, and the Brazil Dona Marta. Cacao. Sorry, so I kind of sped to that next one. There's a nice like red fruit to this though here, which I'm, I'm kind of digging on. Maybe like a, a, a blueberry tone. So Brazil's predominantly have a very nutty profile. They produce a ton of coffee there. It has a, its own vibe. Uh, this one is definitely Brazil, excuse me, but, um, it's different enough. That's kind of nice that like, this is one of the times that you get those, those really nice, like kind of fun Brazils that taste not normal, but they're not too far out. Like, they're still ex ex exquisitely approachable. Um, it's just a nice sweetness to it. If you are one of the people that has a partner, you know who you are, if you're watching this and you love the berry bombs and your partner does not. And uh, usually they're like, well, they might try it, but they usually want something else. So you get one bag for you, you get one bag for them. This would be a great in-between coffee. It won't have the level of the craziness that you're looking for, but it definitely will meet somewhere in the middle. This is a great like 20 therapy sessions in type of coffee where you guys are like clicking and like you're making some progress in some of the problems. Uh, am I going too deep in the relationship world? I don't know. This is, I stay in your lane, Jamie. It's just coffee. It's just coffee. But this is a good, this is a good one. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how that performs in the roaster. Sometimes the Brazils, ah, they, they, the, the Giesens like that cast iron just does something that makes it want to be a dark roast. So we'll see. That churroso. Oh my god. There's a real nice like plum guava. There's a nice banana nice banana 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 nice. A nice not guava banana, but like a guava and also a banana like taste. Very creamy. Really creamy. This is a highlight pour over. Like this is if this stays the way it does and the roaster, oh my god, you guys are gonna love this. It's not gonna come out for a couple weeks. Don't ask about it. <laughs> Although if it's really good, sometimes I just like push it out and go like, yeah, check this out. <laughs> Who knows? Stripe Bourbon from Nicaragua. I think we roasted the sample too light. If I'm being honest, just visually looking at it, it definitely looks too light. It tastes kind of bourbon-y. Um, it has like a real nice, what's that taste? Tastes kind of like coffee cherry.
it's too light. It's just, it's definitely too light, the sample. So this isn't reflective of how it's gonna turn out. I kind of un undecided on that one as far as taste notes to, to tell you guys. Apple cider vinegar, apple, baked apple, unrefined sugars, um, tea like, not any floral notes though. Um, hefty mouthfeel, but not weighty mouthfeel. So a bit more black tea like, maybe. Brazil, an instant crowd pleaser, compromising type of coffee, structured sweetness, um, structured just complexity too. Like it just feels like everything's kind of very balanced. Nothing's leading the way as like such as the, the Rwanda. That's really nice. Um, and that churros, so that's gonna be fun. I should go see if some more is available. I'm gonna buy this, this is gonna sell out. These are as we would define them. Oh my God, unicorn coffees. That's definitely a unicorn coffee. So yeah, it'll be fun to see how this performs in the roaster. Um, just, yeah, just, just know that this takes a little while. This process takes a while with us. As you should know, I've tried to present this into every video and um, hope you're enjoying this kind of stuff. If you want more, I'm gonna try to, we're gonna try to do them more. I'd love to get Jay roped in on this stuff. And we'll just, uh, yeah, we're just vibing. All right, have a great day.